Hi, I'm Chris with Rekirk's Urban Homesteading and Beekeeping, and today we're out at the Boise Eco Village project down in Garden City. And uh, they have agreed to allow us to put a um, educational beehive down here. And with me, I have a few members of the Southwest Idaho Natural Beekeeping Group, uh, Leslie and Mark. They're both uh, newer beekeepers and they're just interested in learning. And so what we've done here is we've gotten a hive donated by uh, Oliver, also another member of the group. Uh, thank you, Oliver, for the donation. Uh, but yesterday I caught a swarm, and this is about a football size, maybe a little larger than a football size swarm. I put it in a new box, came down here tonight, and uh, as a learning opportunity, we're going to put that in the hive. So uh, we'll get started here and show you how to do that. So first thing that we did is we cleaned out the hive and we got all the dead bees out of there. There's a little bit of leftover pollen patty. It's a little dirty, but the bees will clean that up. So we're just going to leave that down there in the bottom for them. And that will help them kind of build the brood up as well. Give them a little bit of food and, and they really kind of enjoy just having that down in the bottom. This is uh, sugar water with a little bit of honey bee healthy. I'm just going to spray it in here on these frames. And what that does is it just kind of covers up the, the scent of the previous hive, hive and it allows them to just realize that this is a, a new home for them and it gives them just a little bit of feed to get started here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put in about, uh, I would say, 10 frames in here for the bees to get started on. That will be plenty of room and then we'll monitor them. And then this is a divider board so that it just divides the bees from going further into the hive and we are allowed to just control how they're going to pull this hive out. So we'll start with that. And some bees will occasionally be able to get up on top here, but we're trying to prevent them from doing that. Just by making sure that the boards are stacked in together pretty tight. Okay? Alright, so let's get started here. So another tip is, is that when you're working on putting bees, or, or even working, uh, working your bees at home, it's always a good idea to put the bees at the front of the hive. The reason why that is is that if you lose any bees, they're, they're right here at the hive ready to go in at where, where the entrance would be. And as you can see, they've already started to build some comb just from yesterday. It's beautiful white comb. Unfortunately, we're going to get rid of that for them. So we're just going to shake these girls right down into here. And again, we've got that bee brush, we can kind of brush those down in there. I checked the comb here just to see if I can see any eggs. I wouldn't expect it, but they are bringing in some nectar and pollen, which is pretty cool. That's just from yesterday? That That's cold? just from yesterday, yep. Last night, matter of fact. So I used some foundationless frames just to give them somewhere to go just because I knew that we were going to put them into this hive. What I'm going to do is just kind of look here for the queen. If I can find the queen, we'll mark her. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to find her in this, this setup than it was the last one that we just did. Okay. So it's just a good shake here. <laughs> Leslie or Mark, do you want to try one?
see the bee brush? Leslie, you want to do one? Sure. You want to see, look down inside there and see how many bees you got down inside the box? It's pretty amazing how many bees are in here. pretty tolerant I think from being shaken down in. Nope, that's here. I'll let him shake it down in there. Good job. Nice shake on that one. Okay. Wanna do the last one? Sure. How about it? Again, we're just looking for the queen. It's pretty hard to see her when they're just hanging like this. Nope, no here. Not this one here that's lighter striped. It's down on the bottom. Here? Down lower on the bottom bar. This one's a drone. You can see how big he is. Uh huh. That's a drone. It'd be really cool if we could see her. These seem to vary in size a little bit more than the mm -hmm. other ones. All right, let's check those ones down in there. Show. So I'll do the box, and then if you want to grab the bottom board, and you can grab and do the bottom board. Uh, want some bees? It's pretty cool, all them bees, huh? going to start putting the top bars in here, trying to get these girls to go down into the box. Can you brush those? Yeah.
do you kill bees when we do this? Yes, you kill bees. We don't like to kill bees, but sometimes this is just what happens. They got, they got this way, I think uh, there's enough room that they can get back. And once they start building the cone and figure out their home, they're going to they're gonna figure that out. So I'll come back and check on them here in a day or so. Can I borrow that for a second? So we're going to just try to brush these girls out off the top here. Get them off out of here and then we'll shut the lid down. <laughs> Already figured out the opening there. Yep, and they will because the pheromones that they put off. Because we're uh, at a public place, I did have some people get into the hives already, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to screw it shut, and then that way we have a less likelihood of them screwing with the hive. So that's about it on introducing. Uh, a swarm catch into a top bar hive. I'll take this box and frames and shake them off right here in front of the hive and take this away and they'll find that entrance before we leave. So anyhow, uh, I'm Chris with Rekirk's Urban Homesteading and Beekeeping coming from Boise Eco Village. I hope your bees are doing good.